kudos to you, whomever made this, because I paid $3 for it and it was well worth it. You did a good job. Hi guys, it's Misty and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is the haul video. It's the haul video from our visit to New Harmony, Indiana. If you haven't been to New Harmony, I highly recommend you go. It's just, it's especially beautiful during this time of year in the fall where the leaves are changing on the trees. You can rent a golf cart and go explore. So I highly recommend that you go. Now on the way down there, we did stop at a yard sale and I'm gonna show you the things that I got from the yard sale first and then I will show you the items that I picked up from New Harmony's antique stores which is what you saw in the video yesterday. I, at the yard sale, I did pick up these two mugs. They're kind of like a retro, kind of a, oh, 1980s, 1970s, 1980s, little stoneware owl mugs. And I really liked them. I liked that they were different. See, I like, this one's like the daddy. That's the daddy mug. And this one's the mommy mug with the two little babies. You know, that's just what, in my mind, that's what I, that's just where I go to. They aren't marked, but they're in excellent condition. So I picked those up. I can't even remember what I paid for them. I think maybe a quarter a piece. And then I did pick up a turkey. A turkey. Now I am loving turkeys. I'll have a whole shelf just filled with them next month for Thanksgiving. This is a different one. This is a napkin holder. So that's kind of fun. So I probably will keep him on my countertop and put napkins in him. It's just a little home ceramic painted splatter piece. I love these things. I know they're tacky, but you know, that's what I like. All right. And I also picked up this. Look at this. It is a Christmas tree made from beads and safety pins. Let me see if the, I'm not sure that the, my extension cord will reach. I may have to unplug it and then I can show it to you a little bit closer, but isn't it pretty? It has a strand of white lights in it, but you can see that it is beads and safety pins. So I don't know if this was a kit or what, but I think I'm going to keep this. I'm keeping this this year. I may sell it next year, but for this year, I'm going to keep it and I'm going to put it with my Christmas decor. I did pay $3 for this at the yard sale, but I think that it was worth it. I think about the time that someone put into making that. There's no way I'd be able to have the time to sit down and, or the patience to sit down and do that. So kudos to you, whomever made this, because I paid $3 for it and it was well worth it. You did a good job. All right, the next thing that I got from that yard sale now, I already have one of these. It's pretty epic. My husband didn't want me to buy it. But do we really listen to them when they tell us no? I mean, I don't. He doesn't understand things such as this. He doesn't understand the majesticness of this ceramic kitty cat. Now, I already have one of these. Oh, sorry, Mr. Kitty. I'm not going to break you with my ring. Um, this is a home painted or ceramics class from 1986. And Betty, Betty painted this cat. And Betty did a fantastic job. And it has little plastic eyes. And it has holes where you'd stick their little eyes through their eye holes. So I love this. I need to clean it up a little bit. So I don't quite know what I'm going to do with this yet. Because I'm not shipping this cat. Because I am, listen, I will ship a lot of things. But this is hollow. And that scares me to death. So I'm probably going to either put this on Facebook Marketplace. Or try to sell it locally. And I've got plans for the local thing. I'm not going to announce it yet, but stay tuned for an announcement. It might be like something along the lines as like, I'm going to have a, a I'm going to open up one day here in my shop. And if you'd like to come, you can, but it, stay tuned for that announcement later. Okay. The next thing I got at that yard sale. Now this is dirty. I'm going to take this home and I'm going to clean it. It's got like sticky stuff on it, but it was 50 cents. It is a Murphy's thermos bottle, but I like the green and I like that it was just kind of short and stubby. I can relate. Short and stubby. I can relate to you. But I think that this is one of those, like you put your, well, what I would say you put your SpaghettiOs in here and take your SpaghettiOs to lunch, but it just keeps it warm. It's plastic, 
Like I said, it's a little dirty. I'm going to take it home and clean it. But it was 50 cents, so I liked it. I thought that it would be kind of neat look, looking in either a fall decor piece or Christmas or St. Patrick's Day. You know, all the green holidays. I also picked up this cute little bunny. Now, I don't know if the lady that, w that had this yard sale, maybe she was Betty, I'm not sure, but she had a lot of these ceramic class pieces. And this is a little shelf sitter of a bunny, a little sleeping bunny. So I think you just put it on your little shelf like that. That's adorable. But it has like little, little corks on the bottom to keep it in place, but I thought it was pretty cute. It's a face. It's a sleeping bunny. You can put them on your shelf. I also picked up these napkins. They're made by Hallmark, but they're shaped like a turkey, but I thought they looked nice as package toppers. There's a whole stack of them, so I'll use those in my packages as well as these guys, the little pilgrims and the Native Americans. I it's like paper dolls. I don't quite know exactly, you know, what it was used for, but I figured I could tear them apart and use them as package toppers. I could write thank you on the back, something like that. Yard sales are a great place to look for things that you can use if you want to do little package ornaments, which I do, but they're fun to me, so that's why I do them. All right, I also, again, with the line of the ceramics class i got these they're not they're not salt and pepper shakers they are just turkeys they're just but they're painted so nice they're just little ceramic turkeys but look at that shading and stuff there's two of them they're exactly the same they're not shakers they're just a figurine they're not even marked who painted them but they are were a blank piece and then someone painted them at home and then these I love. There are these are also just like shelf sitters. They're not salt and pepper shakers, but they are these cute little little nuggets. They look like little eggs, but they're chickens because they have a little chicken thing. But they're home painted like this one's a Native American. It's got this little ghibli gobbler right there. But it has this like corn husk around it. Oh, maybe it's supposed to be a turkey. That's what you're supposed to be of Thanksgiving. Right. Okay. So I've got this little Native American here. And then I have the Pilgrim Man and the Pilgrim wo Woman turkey. But I thought they were cute. Just something unusual. In fact, these, all of these were in a bag. And I think I paid a dollar for all of them. Finally, at that yard sale, I picked up this. Is this, a, is this a, like a Kokeshi doll? Is that what they're called? But she's made out of wood. She's beautiful. She has this marking on the bottom, which I would not even be able to tell you what that is. But I thought maybe her head came off and you opened her. But she, no, she's just hand-carved little Kokeshi doll, I believe is what they're called. But I thought it was pretty. So I picked her up at that yard sale, too. So that's what I got from the yard sale that we went to. Then we went into, we got into New Harmony, and we went into one of my favorite places to visit there, Firehouse Antiques, and you saw that in the, in the video, it's a beautiful store. It's in a restored firehouse or fire station, and it's just the way that they have it decorated is just so lovely. Their prices are not that bad. I mean, you can go in there and pick up things for a very reasonable price. I did just pick up a couple things in there. I got this little turkey die cut, and I'm gonna add this to my Thanksgiving decor. You know, not a lot of people decorate for Thanksgiving, but I do. I decorate for pretty much every holiday. So uh, I like this little vintage die cut. I think you can bend these back a little bit so he can stand on his own, but I probably will put him in a flower frog. And he was $5. And then I picked up the brush. This says the Ideal Stores. Now, the building that was a couple buildings down from us originally, the, there was a shoe store called Ideal Shoes. So in the video, you kind of heard me talk about, oh, is this Ideal Shoe Store? Mark and I kind of talked about it back and forth. And it isn't, but just that reminiscent because I'm a sucker for nostalgia. I went ahead and got it. 
It's, it was $8, but I'm going to use it as a flower frog. And I think that you saw me in the video. I do this at home a lot with photographs and things. When I find these vintage brushes, they do make a nice little display piece and you can use them as a flower frog. And I did pay $8 for this shoe brush. And then I also picked up these two little salt sellers. They are Nippon. They're very sweet and dainty. They are matching. So there's this one and it's little twin sister there. They were $3 each. They're hand painted Nippon. They're just so sweet. Now, I, you know, I think that Jocelyn's rubbing off on me a little bit because I'm getting fancy. I'm buying fancy things. I mean, I don't know, but I just, I liked them. So I got them. They're sweet. They're fancy. Could you imagine going sitting down at a, at a table and they, you got your salt from a salt cellar? That's fancy. Have you ever done that before? That just seems like it's very Downton Abbey. You know, you just get your little spoon and sprinkle your little bit of salt. I'm curious. Let me know. Have you done had a fancy dinner like that? Because that would be awfully fancy. Those are the things that I picked up from Firehouse Antiques. Again, it's a lovely store. I love it. You should definitely go in there and visit it if you are down in New Harmony. And then we went into a place, a couple stores down called Just Looking. Just Looking was a really neat store. They have a lot of vintage records and music memorabilia, a lot of cool things, especially kind of the mid-century modern and kitschy items. The prices were retail prices, which is okay. It just, you know, I'm not buying things. Well, I do buy things for myself from time to time, but I was looking for things for resale. It was a really good place to go in and walk around, take a look. And if you are interested in a lot of kind of mid-century modern and kitschy items, it's definitely a place that has a lot of nice things to offer in there. The next place that we went to, I did get a few things from in there. It was a really neat store. They had a lot of different things to look at. It was a vendor mall. So there were different prices in different areas. And I'm gonna show you some of the things that I got in there. You know, one of the things that you saw, I got these scrubbies. They, have you ever used these scrubbies? People make these scrubbies and it's kind of like a, it's like a Brillo pad out of synthetic materials. These are the best scrubbies to wash your dishes or to clean or scour your sink. And you can just pop them in your dishwasher and reuse them again and again. If I'm out at a flea market and I see that they have these, I always buy a couple of them. They're lovely. So I did pick those up. I also picked up this little girl. Now I love the, well, first of all, check out her finger waves. I mean, she's just something. Now she is a little naked, so you have to pardon that. But she's a little celluloid doll. And I don't know why, but she's got holes all over her. That kind of made me appreciate her a little bit more, but look at her head. Someone has stuck holes all up in her head and all on her body. I'm not sure why they did that to you, girl. She's made in Japan, but boy, she has been, I don't know if they were putting clothes on her and they just stuck them to her body. I don't know. I'm so sorry that they did that to you, girl, but you are in a new place now and I will take care of you and I will add you to all your new adopted brothers and sisters. She's a side eye princess, but I've rescued her from that horrible hole poking place. You're in a good home now. I think I paid $4 for her. I just like those celluloid dolls. I like to just add them all up to a shelf. They have a whole army of these little dolls on the shelf. It's very, very charming, I think. I also got a, another turkey. Now, this one's a turkey planter. And I'm pretty sure that I was watching Alex Chapter 2 Vintage Co's sale the other day on Sunday. She has her sale on Sundays. And I think I bought another one off of her. So... I kind of have a turkey problem a little bit. So I may have to just reevaluate my turkeys and see what I need to do. But I'm telling you what, it's a cool thing to decorate for. Once you get started buying these turkeys, you kind of can't stop because you can find them everywhere for a really cheap price because the turkey secret isn't fully out yet. But we know, we know about the turkeys. Well, you will after you see some of my displays and then you're going to want the turkeys. Just telling you, turkeys are great. Turkeys are great. All right, so I did get this planter. I wanna say it's either New Orleans, it's some sort of made in Japan piece. Can't remember how much I paid for this turkey, but I know that it wasn't a lot. 
I did pay $4 for this little guy. I have been finding these little guys everywhere. I have, I think I just sold this one and I also either just sold or I have a blue one. Um, I'm pretty sure that this is probably American Bisque. He is $4. He does have a small hairline crack and a little bit of discoloration, but for $4, he's still a nice, sturdy, staunchy dog. And he's lovely with that little pink hue, little terrier dog. So that's well worth, well worth it to me. And then I believe that this might be Morton Pottery. This is a little Morton Pottery Bulldog. Look, it's a bulldog. It's a little planter bulldog. Now he is in excellent condition. He's just so sturdy and chonky. It's a good chonky American made pottery piece. You know, look at that face. So I, this is lovely. Um, I think I may, maybe paid $4 for him as well. And then I got a boot. I've recently sold a couple of these boot planters, but I haven't seen a Western one. So this one's like a little Western cowboy boot or a cowgirl boot, you know, it could be either. Little planter. So I got that as well. And then I got these little deer. Well, I, this one's a deer. I'm not sure what this other one is, but this one's a little deer. They're made in Japan. You can see there, he's a little polka dotted deer. And then this one's very similar. I don't know if it's a deer. It kind of looks like a lamb, kind of looks like a dog. They have little rosettes and they're little polka dots. They are marked Japan. I love this kind of stuff. It's just my stuff. And then I, I, I got some clowns. Yeah, I know, but these are cute. I think that these are a home painted piece as well, but they're little clown candle huggers. I don't know why you would need clown candle huggers, but they're cute, right? So they just hug your little taper candle. They're screaming people outside of this building. There, I think they are a home painted piece. They very much resemble the paint job of a California pottery piece, but they're not. They're just a home painted piece. But they're kind of cute for as far as clowns go. So I got those. And then now I these I am keeping these things. I have been searching the world over. And when I say searching the world over, when I find things for for my own collections, I I don't get them on eBay. I don't, you know, go and order it online somewhere. I want to find it in the wild. That's the kind of the thing, I don't know, are you like that too? I, I don't wanna take the, I don't wanna say the easy way out, but I want to find it in the wild. And this was one of the things that I have been wanting to find in the wild at a price that I wanna pay for it, that is. And it is a Halloween Wade Whimsy. I've been looking for this guy. I've seen him and I have admired him from afar. I've either seen him and he wasn't, he wasn't for sale or they wanted way too much money for them. I want to say I paid maybe $4 for him. I can't remember, but it's a little cat in a jack-o'-lantern. It is marked Wade, England. So I saw this one and then as I was looking through the case, cause it was in a locked case, she said, are there any more in there that you are, that you would like? And I like the holiday ones, the, the, the holiday character ones. And so I got a little Easter bunny too. Here's a little Easter bunny, Wade Whimsy. It's also marked Wade England on the back. They're just cute little sweet little things. And I finally found one so I can check that off my list and, Keep searching for the other things that hop in my head from time to time. Okay, so that was all that I got from that store. And then we went over to a store and my camera battery was dead. So I didn't film in there. And I walked in and it was a very kind of, I don't mean to say hoity-toity as it's a bad thing, but it's like a very, it was like new things and a few old things that were in, in the back. A lovely store. It was it had a great vibe and a cool environment to it. But I kind of walked in thinking, yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to buy anything. You know, sort of like when you walk into an antique store and it has the name gallery in it. You kind of are like, mm, 
yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to afford to buy anything for resale in here. But every once in a while, you might get a little surprise. And that's what happened to me. And I'm, I'm so excited. And they were getting ready to close. And I told my husband, I said, I'm just gonna run in there really, really quick. So I ran in there and I went straight to the back where the old things were. And I got some good stuff. I got some shakers. I got a squeaker. And I wanna say that I went in there thinking I wasn't gonna be able to walk out with anything. But now this is a squeaker alert. Squeaker alert. Squeaker alert. Squeaker alert. It's a Santa toy. It's a poodle. It's in excellent condition. The paint is still vibrant. The squeaker, it's like it's never been played with. And I want to say it was like $4. So that was exciting for the squeaker. So I got the squeaker. You know I love me a good squeaker. Love me a good squeaker. And then I saw this guy. Now I already have him, but I may have to have two. <laughs> you never know with me. This is a little roly poly Santa. It's a little baby toy. Little roly poly Santa. And I think it was like two or three dollars. And it is a Kitty Productions Avon, Massachusetts. Cute little nugget of a Santa. The rest of the things that I got were or are salt and pepper shakers. And you know I love me a good shaker. I love me a good anthropomorphic shaker. And I got some. The first ones I got were these fish. These were all in a locked cabinet. And I felt kind of bad because they were getting ready to close, but I had to buy them all. So I ended up just buying them all. I bought all of them because they were like four or five dollars a piece. I think the most expensive one was six dollars. And that's for a shaker. That's kind of putting it up there because that's kind of retail, but I couldn't resist. These fish, they're like a fan tail fish. Look at the colors on them and the eyelashes. Now, they do not have their stoppers. They're not marked Japan, but these, these are made in Japan. I just know it by feeling it. They have some crazing, which I love, but these caught my eye because of the color. Now these guys, I don't like the way that they feel because they're bisque and I do not like the way bisque feels. They are made in Japan, but they're these little bug playing a tuba and playing an accordion. Look at their faces. They're bisque. They have their stoppers. They're marked Japan. They're cute. I got those. And then I got these bears. Now these are, they appear to be redware, but they're not. They are just, they're a white ceramic pottery painted black. But look at how derpy and confused they look. Well, I don't know. Is it that way? I don't know. Is it that way? I, I don't know. Is it straight ahead to the side? They're just derpy. They are marked Japan, but I liked them. I thought that they were fun. And then these are these are redware they are these big eared mice i'm gonna say but look they're surprised what have i been up for 20 i have been up for 24 hours straight and i can't sleep i'm just running around trying to get the cheese i think that's what they're saying and this guy's i mean he's they're a little different he's kind of sitting upright and he's kind of sitting to the side but they both have that surprised look on their face that I love. They are, uh, this one's missing the stopper. This, they are marked Japan on the bottom. So these are great. These actually are not salt and pepper shakers, but I couldn't leave them behind. I just said, oh, I'll just cook, take the bunny rabbits too. They are a home painted piece, but here is the big bunny and the little bunny. So I got those. I like these. I have a whole shelf of bunnies too. It's a little ridiculous. All right, and then I got these Native American ones. These are from Grand Prairie, wait, what does this say? Grand Prairie Atlanta, no. Grand Prairie something Canada. Alberta, I think that's right. But they are these little Native American wooden salt and pepper shakers. They have wooden bodies and they have ceramic heads. 
Uh, they do have their stoppers, but you can see Grand Prairie, I think it's Alberta, Canada. So I like those. These will be great in a uh, Thanksgiving display. And then I got these little cuties. They are marked Japan. The little Native American shakers, the little boy and the little girl. Look at how sweet. I think, are you a girl? Maybe you're, no, you're not a girl. You're the chief. I don't know. She just has like a girl looking face. And then the little, you're the girl, you've got the braids. Although I thought that, maybe it's because this one has brown on and this one doesn't. I think it's just where my mind went. But they do have their stoppers. They're like sitting in a little moccasin. Adorable. And then these are totem poles. They're dated 1953, Vancouver, British Columbia. They do both have their stoppers. I thought these were fun. The colors on these. Let's see, I'll turn them around. Vancouver, British Columbia, 1953. Well, I was going to say something, but I won't. But mom, you know what I was going to say. I won't say that. But um, they do have their stoppers in them. I think that they're great. I've never seen these. And then my favorite ones that I got that day are these little tiki guys. Oh my gosh. Look at them. They stack. They've got this little bird creature on top they have their stoppers they are so clean i don't think that they've ever been used but they they are they're stackers isn't that fun oh i love these i love salt and pepper shakers they are the funnest thing for me to find and seek out i think it's because as a child that was always kind of my job when we would go places is find the go find the salt and pepper shakers probably because they were small enough that I maybe wouldn't break them, or if I did, they it wouldn't be that much to pay for. Oh, girl, I forgot. I forgot about you. So I got her there, too. She is a little, I think that she is made by, I'm not sure. I can't read who she's made by. So I got this little cupy, little plastic celluloid cupy all decked out in her little crocheted red, white, and blue for America. Now she's dressed. This girl needs, we need to find something for her, but I love these. I do, I stick them. I have a shelf full of these babies. There's just something about a shelf full of something. But I loved her, her she's got her little side eye going too. I love that someone made a little shirt for her. So I picked her up as well. I am keeping those, I'm adding them to my shelf of babies. But that's all that I got that weekend. Actually, there is, I got a few more things that week, that weekend. Tomorrow's video will be a video of a flea market that we visited while we were in Evansville. And I'll, I'm going to include the haul with that video because I didn't really get a whole lot, but it's still going to be a very fun video. And then Friday's video is going to be a video of a haul of dad's things. A haul full of the things that dad has picked up over the last couple weeks. So I hope that you would tune in for that. And I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video. Thank you so much for sharing this time with me. Make sure that you leave me a comment and don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye guys. Bye.